I'm still here. I didn't quit YouTube, though it is something I've been contemplating. There's been a lot going on. We're going to talk about that today as well as give you a bunny update. So if you want to know what's going on, don't go anywhere and make sure to hit that subscribe button before I get back. What's up, everybody? I'm Diane from Hooks Hollands, bringing you rabbit info, bunnertainment, and ridiculously made up words like bunnertainment since 2015. If that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and turn on those notifications. Because did you know I occasionally post videos on this channel? Who'd have thunk it? Those of you who follow me on the YouTube community or Facebook or Instagram, and if you don't, I'll put those links below. You likely saw my posts right after Valentine's Day that I lost Camilla. That's her right here. She was a beautiful broken orange doe, fantastic personality, so sweet and funny and hilarious. Despite subcutaneous fluids and veterinary care, we just couldn't get her eating and her GI tract moving again, and we lost her. So many of you were heartbroken to hear about Camilla, but you were wonderfully supportive and encouraging in your comments, and I thank you for that. Of course, there were still a few people who have to be negative, and you know, no matter what I do, no matter how responsibly I breed my rabbits, how infrequent, they still are going to have a problem with that and say negative things when one passes. And I know this is going to happen. I have an aging herd, I'm getting attached to them and I'm not retiring them into pet homes as frequently as I did in the past. So things like this are going to happen, I know, but actually having to deal with them is a whole other different story. So I did contemplate, do I want to let thousands of people get to know my rabbits and grow attached to them just as I am because inevitably, there's likely going to be heartbreak down the road. And I know that's par for the course for being on a public platform like this, but I thought maybe I could just do rabbit care videos and not so much of letting you get to know my bunnies. So that's why I've been absent. I've been processing Camilla's loss and thinking about how I want to proceed. I was starting to make a memorial video for her and I just, couldn't do it. It was so sad and emotional and it just made me cry. So I thought, you know what? I'm not going to do that because it's going to do the same to you guys. I have lots of pictures on my website of her. I have plenty of videos with Camilla in them. So I'm going to leave it at that and I'm always going to remember her. She has a special place in front of the bunny barn next to Timmy and her mom, Anna, under a tree and she will not be forgotten. She will forever live on in everyone's memories and my videos. The overwhelming majority of you want me to continue letting you to get to know my bunnies, and I do enjoy that. With that being said, today we're going to update you on the seven bunnies that I do have out in the bunny barn. I have four bucks and three does. It's a little bit of an imbalance. I still have Camilla's son, Fozzie, which was her last baby, born back in September. He's such a little guy, but because he's Camilla's last baby and they had such a close bond to each other, I'm still hanging on to him. So I haven't decided if he will stay here and perhaps take his father, Sonny Jim's place as a breeding buck, or I will just keep him as a pet, or I will move him along to a pet home. I'm still not sure on that, but for right now, he's staying here. Enough talking, right? Let's wake you up by going out to see the bunnies. We all know that's why you're here anyhow, right? I'm not offended. Let's go.
So this is little Callie, Cora's daughter, who was born at the beginning of September. So she's now six months old. And as you can see, <laughs> she is really enjoying digging in the hay. At six months of age, she is fully mature and the hormones are surging. So she and her mom, Cora, who has put herself away, and I'll show you her in a second, their favorite toy is to climb in this hay box. They have about four different entrances and exits, but lately they have taken to pushing the hay back out of the box. So I have this all swept up and put in there, and this is just within the last 15 minutes that she has pushed all of this out. And I wasn't sure if it was her mom, Cora, or if Callie was the one doing it, but I caught her red-handed or red-pawed. While we are on the subject of the hay box, let me roll the clip of the mess I walked into this morning Cora and Callie have been busy. All of this is the extra hay that the bunnies haven't wanted for the past week, and it was in that box. And these girls bulldozed it out last night. Oh my gosh. You guys are crazy. You're crazy, Callie. Was it you, Cora? Did you do it? Or was it Callie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're really messy with this and I need to give them a new box that doesn't have so many holes and such large holes. So as soon as I'm done with this Small Pet Select hay box here, I will probably replace that one. And it will be a little while before they chew giant holes in it again. So I have Storm over here. There's nobody in there. This is the nice exercise pen. I usually will put either Moose or Sunny Jim in there because otherwise if I let them run loose in here they will just pee everywhere because they're not neutered and there's Moose right there. Yeah, we're talking about you Moose. So Moose is here in this double. I have Yoshi who is in this double. Sunny Jim is over here. He's my oldest boy. He just turned six at the end of January. We've got little Fozzie over here. And if you're wondering why my boys are all separated, it's because, you know, when they're not neutered, if they are too close together, they will spray. So if I keep them spaced a little bit, they don't do that. And then I had Camilla over here. And so obviously that's empty. This one's empty. And then this is where Cora and her daughter Callie live. Actually, they mostly have the run of the bunny barn all day and all night, except for when I might have the boys out. If I want to get another bunny out, then I just pull this little fence around the bottom of their enclosure. Just because with Cora and Callie still living together, they can be a bit defensive of their territory, and I don't want any noses getting bitten. They've tried, so that's why I have that fence on it. I just pull it around here. Now, with Callie being six months old, they really are starting to want their own space. Cora likes to mount Callie pretty ceaselessly. Hi, Cora. Hi, sweetheart. With springtime rapidly approaching, Cora is very eager to be bred. Right, Cora? So that's one reason why she's mounting Callie, and Callie is mature now, but they have not been aggressive to each other, so that's why I've left them together. So they play out here most of the day and night, and then they put themselves away to nap, and they have their food, and they have water, and then they also have water, and I give them a big pile of hay, other than the one that they pull out themselves. They have a nice little fleece bed over here that they sometimes will sleep in in the sunshine. That's a great spot most of the day it has sunshine. So this is some organic romaine lettuce. And I'm not going to give them much. I have had some instances of stasis when giving too many greens to my bunnies. I just have some that are very sensitive. So they're each going to get one depending on their age. Yeah, Callie is still over there bulldozing the hay. 
Moose is there munching his hay. Speaking of hay, I did begin to wonder if our local orchard grass could be partially to blame for some of the stasis issues that I've had over the past year. So even though they love all the clover and it does have a lot of weeds in it, what they don't eat, we give to the goats, which that's what you see here. <laughs> She's so silly. So then I also bought some second cut Timothy from Small Pet Select. They really seem to like the extra leafy pieces as well as the more coarse pieces. So I've been giving them a combination of this second cut Timothy and then this second cut orchard grass. As for their pellets, I have since gone back to the blue bag Timothy alfalfa Sherwood, the free choice. I used it for years and I had very, very good results. And then I tried their measured Timothy as well as their free choice Timothy, which is newer. And I don't know if it was that, my bunny's sensitive digestion, the hay, maybe too many treats. I just had some issues. So I'm going back to what I know worked for years. So that is what I'm sticking with for now. Even though it's a free choice food, I've decided to just give them a fourth a cup a day. So an eighth in the morning and an eighth in the evening if they've eaten it. And most of the time it's gone by the afternoon. So that way I know how much they're eating. I know they're not eating too many pellets and it encourages them to eat more hay. And now I have the second cut Small Pet Select Timothy as well as the orchard grass that we get locally. Sorry, I went off on a little bit of a tangent. Let's get the lettuce and we will feed this to them. Sunny Jim is so sweet and even though he is six years old, he is still full of energy. He loves to play outside and I'll put them back out this afternoon after they've had their naps. He loves head rubs. He's so soft. If you think he looks soft, you are right. Look at how soft that fur is. And I am sorry about all the noise in the background. Callie is over there ripping up the box. <laughs> Ruining the ambiance. But he hates being held. He has always hated being held. And that's not unusual. Most rabbits don't like it. But some will tolerate it. But he really hates being picked up. As soon as I pick Sunny up, he starts kind of whimpering. It's the funniest thing. And I know it stresses him, so I always use the carrier when I take him outside. He loves that. He likes to poop in it, don't you, buddy? <laughs> Fozzie is not quite six months old, so I'm not going to give him a lot of lettuce. He just gets this little piece here. That's it, buddy. He's still so little. Even though he's almost six months old, he's just a little guy. He's definitely a true dwarf. Fozzie is the son of Sunny Jim and Camilla, so he's extra special to me. He was Camilla's last baby. He's a nice little guy. He's a little hesitant. Not as sure of himself as his dad is, but he's still pretty young. I don't have any more. He's hoping I have more lettuce. <laughs> Let's see if Cora will come out for some yummy treats. Oh, yes you will. That's it. You ate it all. That's one of the litter boxes I have out here for whichever bunny happens to be playing, and they make a mess. 
I'm sorry for all the background noises, but between Storm shredding her box and Callie and Cora over here playing in their box, it's hard to keep it quiet in here until they're napping. Now let's see Yoshi. I love Yoshi. He's so sweet. I love his coloring. He's a broken blue. He's just a really sweet boy. Grandson of Timmy, just like Moose. So Yoshi had stasis a couple months ago, so I'm really careful about the treats that I give him and how much. I still am not sure what caused that because I hadn't been giving him many treats. He did get some oats. That's the only thing I could think it could be other than the food or the hay. So he just got a little piece of lettuce and then that will be it. He has his food. He has a nice hay box down here. Lots of Timothy in there. He's still really good at binkying. He's very tolerant of being held and picked up. And I'm going to try to continue that so that he's easy to handle even as an adult, which I guess he is. He's over six months old now, so he's technically a senior, a young senior. It's hard to think of him as that though because he's so little still. He's a true dwarf also. He and Fozzie are only a few weeks apart. Fozzie's a little bit younger. You've already been out today. So I will let Yoshi out. I'll put the girls away and then Yoshi likes to run around here and he's really pretty good so far about not peeing everywhere. He uses the litter boxes. But I'm not sure if that will continue as he matures more. And then Fozzie, I'll let play out here too. But Moosey and Sunny Jim, I usually put in either the inside or outside pen. He's so cute. You can't come out right now. The girls are out. Moose is two years old. He's a solid opal. He is super hyper. He's also a Timmy grandson, just like Yoshi. And he has one thing on his mind and one thing only, other than lettuce, <laughs> it's girls. He doesn't like to be held because he wants down and he wants to find his girls. So I'm not going to let him out because I know what will happen in probably under a minute, right? Yeah, <laughs> crazy boy. Moose is one who can't tolerate a lot of greens, a lot of treats, so he just got a little piece of lettuce. Yeah. But he's really good at eating hay. He loves his little hay box. And I keep some in a rack here. I usually put the Timothy in the rack because it's more expensive and I don't want him wasting it. And then he has mostly the orchard grass in there. What? What? No. Okay, let's go check on your daughter and your girlfriend because they are tearing up that box. I hear it. There you are. Are you having fun in there? She stole it. That's funny, Callie. I'm sorry, Mama stole most of that. You gotta be faster. And finally, we have Storm. Storm is a blue-eyed white. I'm going to feed her her lettuce and put it right by the microphone so you can hear it.
probably Storm's favorite thing to do is shred cardboard boxes. <laughs> she doesn't want this. She always shreds her hay box, so that's why she doesn't have one of the plastic tubs. I give her a cardboard box and she gets two giant heaping handfuls of hay twice a day. And then when that box is shredded, she gets that as her play box and then she'll get a new hay box. She's been shredding the hay box, so it's really hard to keep her area clean. <laughs> it gets so messy and she's super high energy too, as you will see when I put her outside here. So Storm does get a little bit more food than the other ones just because she's super high energy, very active and she's larger and she's been handling it well. So I do give her a little bit more, but she eats a ton of hay too, don't you girl? She's pretty tolerant of being petted. Does not like being picked up. Funny thing is I was looking at Storm's pedigree the other day and realized that her grandmother was Snowflake, a rabbit that I had years ago and had sold to a breeder. So I thought it was pretty funny. I do still think that Storm is not necessarily completely deaf, but very hard of hearing. But that doesn't seem to inhibit her at all. I just make sure that she sees me before I touch her because I don't want to startle her. So there you have it. There are three does and four bucks. So it seems pretty empty in here. I'm hoping to keep it under 10. So I would like to have a couple more, but I am enjoying having a small crew, just being able to give them more attention. See, they're, they're still sweet together, aren't they? Until the mounting begins, which may happen here shortly. I'm going to let the bunnies get their naps in, and then this afternoon I will put them outside and let you enjoy them playing. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I am dedicating it to the memory of Camilla. She will always be remembered and forever loved. Thank you for letting me share her with you over the years and I hope that you will enjoy the videos and photos in her memory as well. 
If you're interested in getting some merch with Camilla's picture, I will put the link to my shop down below, as well as a link to a cheesy little video that I posted unlisted recently because I was so embarrassed of it. It ended up being a little bit like an infomercial, which is not what I intended, but I will put that down below if you would like to hear the story of my merch shop that I recently opened this year. Thanks for watching.